Hi, my name is Mike Pelletera and work with Virtual Campus for technology training. And we're gonna walk you through how to enable an honor lock quiz to put the settings in the correct place. First, you need to be sure that you're logged into irsc.blackboard.com or go through your uh, Pioneer portal and log in through the Okta system. That activates the possibility, capability of the honor lock to happen to begin with. That's essential. Then we're gonna go just according to this document here provided to us by Stephen Daniello, Director of Assessments. Uh, we're gonna start clicking on content. We click on content first. And then onto build content where we see the honor lock LTI application. We click on honor lock LTI and then we type in here, honor lock remote testing. Scroll down and you want to enable viewers to see this content and track number of views and click submit. What this does is provide to you as the instructor, a place to view all of the students testing the results and to see who was flagged for possible cheating situations and they'll be labeled as red, yellow, and green. You click on each one of those student videos and it shows the screen capture of how they were doing. It shows this, the actual test they were recorded as they went through it in a live video. However long it takes, it's real time, it's video. And you watch the reactions of the students as they're taking your test. Very interesting process to watch some of those videos. Also now you can go into this document and that is our make sure it's availability and you click submit. And now we go to the actual testing setting, test settings for the quiz that you want to enable for the honor lock system to take place. So we're gonna go into the testing uh, center assessment where many uh, quizzes and tests sit in virtual campus courses and we're gonna to go to this quiz two, and I'm gonna to go to edit test options. And let's continue to scroll on this document to show that it works and it's step by step. So here in the test options, we're going to scroll down and you want to open this test in a new window. For sure you want to open, there's the directions and you want to, by default, it says no. So yes, before we usually did not open a new window, but now we do. This enable button is now in place. So you click on the enable button and it opens up and giving you the test options of what you want to enable in those tests. You can change them if you like to, but by default, they're, they're pretty well set up. Scroll down, make the test available to students. Obviously, yes, do not need to put, and maybe when the test is released, you can click yes if you'd like to for the announcement to be made. And scrolling down on the other document, it says click to enable that test to begin with. And you've activated that document and All of the information you can now enter items such as instructions for do to uh, enable students to use their notes for instance if that's what you'd like them to do so you can give the proctor guidelines as to what the proctors are looking for this exam is suited regardless of any restrictions. Show this exam to students, etc. And now click on save. And you set the timer for the students. Give them 60 minutes. Auto submit, it's gonna go on automatically. When that item is displayed. And the password is no longer needed for you to set. Honor Lock has set that by itself automatically. So there's no more uh, individual testings uh, by the month as we have done in the past. It's automatically set. 
And this document also goes through each of these considerations um, to, to consider. Include this test in the score calculations. One-time view is not a terrible thing for the students. It's up to you as to how you want your students to see the results of those questions. This is a big one here under feedback. You want to give them feedback uh, under essays or whatever they're doing. That's the way they're going to see the feedback and click Submit. And that's all there is to it. So on this document, it tells you exactly what to do. And then you have the testing um, setups and this it describes exactly how um, the document is being released to the students. And that's all there is. And the quiz is set and ready to go for students. So when they click on it like this, they'll be taken into an auto lock. It's checking and the extension is required. So I agree to auto locks terms of service and the extension is required. So you, the students are asked to get the auto lock extension and the extension then is clicked on added to Chrome. And the students will have to take and circulate their computer all the way around the room to make sure there's no cheating going on. And the system can then commence to taking the test. And that's how you set up an honor lock system for a quiz at IRSC using the honor lock uh, testing system. Thank you.